Hi, my name is Dennis. Karen. Jose. Anne. Mark. Scott. Christopher. Nathan. Wilson. Josh. Moises. Robin. Celia. John. Billy. Tommy. Lucy. Andrew. Michael. Jack. Kevin. Jerry. Cherry. Chris. Joanna. Danica. Judy. Kevin. Julia. Luis. Seth. Leslie. Melissa. Sarah. Tony. Lynn Manuel. Tom. Charles. Coleman. Tyler. Robin. Anna. Ray. J. Robert. Jason. Michael. Danny. Rory. Terrence. Tom. Richard. Zoe. Brian. George. Audra. Heidi. Hunter. Susan. Chris. John. Saida. My name is Alexandria Wales. I grew up in a small town in Omaha, Nebraska. Central Florida. Inner city, West Philadelphia. Caracas, Venezuela. Paris, Tennessee. Corpus Christi, Texas. Paw Paw, Michigan. I grew up in Harbor, Long Island. There were so many times that I felt sad. Scared and alone. Lost. Very invisible. Unbelievably depressed. Completely isolated. And like there was no hope on the horizon. There were times when I was so lonely I thought I would die. There were times when I got depressed because I knew I was gay at a time and a place when it wasn't okay to be gay. There were times where I didn't feel like part of the crowd because I was poor. My parents weren't able to afford to buy me new clothes or wear my sister's hand-me-downs. I felt alone because as far as I know, I was the only gay person in Pawpaw, Michigan. It was made very clear to me that being gay was the worst possible thing any human being could be. I was so afraid that someone would find out that I was gay. There were times when I felt guilty because I was gay, because I was at Catholic school. I went to bed every night praying that God would make me a different person. I spent all of my youth trying to pass as straight. Being thought of or perceived as gay was more than I could possibly imagine. Like every other gay kid, I thought I was the only one, and the only other one in the world was Lily Tomlin. There were times when I begged to be homeschooled. I only felt at home by myself. And I could not fit in. I knew there was something different about me. I was surrounded by people who made me feel like it was a crime to be smart and a girl and full of opinions. I knew I was gay, so here I am, I'm six feet tall, I'm 13, and I'm in the marching band, not a good combination. I was the only Jewish girl in my class. I was gay. I was fat. I have a lisp. I was different and I really like girls. I was ethnic looking. I was gay. Geeky and awkward. There were times when I was picked on. I was teased. There were times in my life when I was bullied. Bullied and made fun of. Terrorized by a much bigger boy. I was taunted with ugly words. Girls would come up to me and say, I thought all Jews had horns. I couldn't walk down the hallway without being called Bigfoot, Sasquatch. Pato, which is Spanish word for fag. Femme, fairy, girl. My yearbook printed my nickname as Queer Boy. He pointed to me and said, and said, look at, there's that faggot. Bullies in my high school and junior high school used to write on my back with a permanent marker and they would write fag or gay boy. I would get notes passed to me by the big footballish bullies telling me exactly when and where I was to be beaten up in the parking lot. The kids in the schoolyard threw pennies at me because I was Jewish. Someone threw milk at me. I would get sand put in my mouth. I uh, got stuffed into lockers. I was pushed and shoved. They just punched me in the face. I'd never felt anything like that in my life. I was jumped, fag bashed by eight boys from my school. It was bad. I even considered hurting myself. I, for one, wanted to end it. There were times when I was suicidal. When I thought the only way out was to kill myself. But I hung in there. And even though uh, suicide was an option for many, many years and depression lasted even longer, I, I was surrounded by people who were very supportive and I sought help. I reached out to people that cared about me. I found some help. I reached out to adults in my life who took me where I needed to go and gave me the help I needed. Reach out to anybody, anybody who'll listen, but don't be silent, it's so important. I'm living proof. I lived proof, still alive. I kept going. I persevered. I was more resourceful than they were, and I knew the topography of Tecumseh High School, so I hid. And I also befriended the cheerleading squad. I knew somewhere deep down inside everything was gonna be okay. So I knew one day I'd be safe. I just sort of had to like stay focused till I got to that one day. I knew that I was going to get out of that small town. I always knew I was gay 
and I just couldn't wait to get somewhere where I could be gay completely. I found a few great mentors who understood what I was going through. I went to college and met people who were just like me. A family of friends that completely accept me and embrace me just as I am. I remembered what the nuns and priests taught me, that God made man in his image, and I didn't think God made anything bad. And I stopped praying to change myself and started praying to accept myself for who I was. That God loves me no matter what anybody else says. Everything that I feared about being isolated or shut out was the exact opposite of what happened. I'm in love with this woman and she loves me and she loves my teeth. She loves the very thing that people used to make fun of me for. The thing that made me feel weird or different when I was younger would be the thing that made me a super awesome rock star when I was older. All of a sudden, the, all the things that were different about me were the things that, were, that people seemed to like most about me. And I find invariably that the very thing that makes you different in high school is the thing that makes you exceptional as an adult. I actually used all of that bullying and all of that pain to make work that hopefully resonates with many, many, many people. I lived to write songs and write lyrics and try to make people laugh. To star in a movie that I wrote myself. To make work that I love with people that I love. Dance in one of the biggest Broadway musicals in history. I've been nominated for a couple Tony Awards. And I've been involved with some of the most successful shows in history. The Tony Award we won for Hairspray, for which we joyfully kissed each other on national TV. I lived to be the first person in my family to graduate from college. And also, I was in a Broadway show. I lived to see myself win the Oscar for Best Actor. Okay, I'm making that up. But who knows? I stuck around. I'm working with amazing directors, producers, writers, and other artists all over the planet, and guess what? They're all like you. And I lived to find other people who thought just like I did. And I've lived to see my parents change. I lived to meet my best friend. I lived to be a mom. The most awesomest aunt. An uncle. I'm about to be a grandfather. I met the love of my life. With a partner of 28 years. Wake up every morning with a boy who loves me just the way I am. I got to live my happy life. To love myself and learn how to love somebody else. Grow more confident to leave and come live in a bright, big, beautiful city. And dedicate myself to activism. I can now stand tall and I'm a proud member of the gay community. I love being gay. If I was gonna be a pato, I was gonna be the best pato there is. I'm skinnier and better looking than all the people I went to high school with. There's nothing better than uh, you know, going to a high school reunion and running into the guy who called you faggot and he's now morbidly obese in a dead-end job. And you've arrived in a <laughs> chauffeur-driven town car with your fabulous partner. And I can guarantee you that those bullies who bullied you in high school, less than five years from now, they're gonna be the most boring people you will ever meet in your life. And you're gonna still be extraordinary and fabulous. You'll have your whole life ahead of you. I learned that the world is much bigger than horrible, horrible Long Island. I learned that the world is much bigger than that scary parking lot with pickup trucks and boys with steel-toed boots who threatened to hurt me. The world is much bigger than any person who tells you that being gay is bad or a choice. Um, those people are wrong. I learned that the world is much bigger than one person's opinion of who I am. It gets so much, so much better. There are people out there who care. There are wonderful people all over the earth who get you. You can find people there that will appreciate you. Trust me, it gets better. Todo se mejorará. Time is gonna make it better. Absolutely. It definitely gets better. Some days it gets a little worse, but then it gets better again. It gets better. You've gotta believe me. It gets better. Life can be fabulous. And it's up to you to make it so. I promise you it gets better. Take it from a girl who lived on food stamps. You are not alone. If you feel like you are different, then be different. Life has the capacity to become so much sweeter and better. It gets better. Hello, much better. I think you get better at dealing with things because you 
know you're not alone. You are part of a huge community and uh, we're all fighting the same fight against ignorance and bigotry. Okay, <laughs> though I'm devastated remembering how horrible it was and feeling bad for people that are going through it right now, it really does get better. But you have to survive what you're going through. Things will, will, will turn around. And I'm so glad that I stuck around. Because if I didn't stick around, I wouldn't, I would have never have known him. I'm so happy that I'm still here. It gets better. You are perfect, just as you are. Progress is being made to create a world of acceptance and equality for everyone. It, it gets, gets better. better. Life is pretty damn wonderful. It absolutely, positively, rooty tooty, fresh and fruity gets better. And, and we're proof that it gets better. It gets better. If you're in a position to do so, teach acceptance, teach kindness, teach respect. If you're an adult who suspects that a child you know might be involved in peer abuse or peer harassment, please intervene. Report the incident to a school official. If you're an adult who would like to help, there are many local and national resources like reachout.com and trevorproject.org. Make sure these organizations have the resources they need to continue their work. Please donate. If you're a young person who needs support, seek help. You're never ever truly alone. There's always someone there to help you.